Hi, I'm Janet Baker, and I just got back from Stampin' Up's Founder Circle. And while I was there, I had made everyone a little cute little bag with a witch's hat. And so they told me I should do a video on it. So here we are. Here's our little curvy keepsake pumpkin. And we put the little spider web on top with the little hat on it. Like this. I'm going to show you how to make this cute little hat. So all you need is a two and a half inch circle with a window punch punched out of the center. And two of our trees punched. And all you're going to do is take some glue dots. This is really simple. And you're going to glue dot your two trees together like this. And then you're just going to take and put a glue dot on the glimmery side of your trees on the stem, like that. Then you're just going to stick it in here through your hole and put your tree, if I can get them apart. I'll stick one tree in here like this, right in the middle, like that. And fold the other one to the other side and do the same thing. Just stick it like that. Okay, so you're just sticking your trees down with the stem just like that. There's your little hat and then you can take and make one of our little bows from our little bow punch like that. Stick a couple of glue dots on it. that and you just stick it right on there. Like that. So now you've got your little witch's hat. Now this work works really good on your little keepsake um, box and your little pumpkin here and if you want to do your little web all I did was I just fold my web in half like this. I took some little snips snipped it right there so I had a little slit slide it right on there. And also a good idea is to glue dot that web right to your hat. So then just pull the hat off and they can get inside their little box and get their little treat out. Now here is a candy bar with that little, I put a little glue dot on here and just slid that right on top of this one. It's the same thing. I just slid it on here with the window thing like that and then you can there's another way you can do these that works really well and it's done with a clip or with our clothespins and it opens and closes like this has our little clothespin on it just like that now I'm going to show you how to do that really quick for that one you're going to need two trees and your two and a half inch circle punched and then you're going to want to punch a one inch circle out of the center so you, I just push it all the way in until it doesn't go any farther kind of try and make sure you've got it kind of in the middle on the sides there punch it and you're pretty much right in the center works really well now on this one you're going to take your clothes pin and you're going to put two glue dots on each side of your clothespin. Just like this. This is very simple and fun to do. Okay, now you're going to take your two trees and you're going to just stick it on each side. You don't want your clothespin to show, so go down a little ways. Try Don't go under your stem here because your clothespin is a little bit wider than your stem. So you're going to put the other one right on top like this. Push it on there so your glue dots stick. Then you're going to go back back to your glue dots. You're going to put one on each corner of your tree on the glitter side and one on your stem. Flip it over, do the same thing. 
This does use quite a bit of glue dots, but it's so fast and easy to do, so it's really worth it to me to do the glue dots. Okay, so I've got my glue dots on there, and here's my circle. I'm just going to slide my tree up as far as it will go, kind of like that. Then I'm just going to fold my little circle down and try and make it even right here at the top. And just kind of crease it a teeny bit, but not a lot there. And make sure your glue dots are stuck down inside here, just like that. Just making sure I've got all my glue dots down on the inside. So, see what it looks like on the inside there? And there you go. You can open and close your little witch's hat. Stick a bow on it. You can do any kind of bow you want with any kind of paper works really well. So I'll put a glue dot on this one, maybe if I can get it to stick to my there we go. Glue dot on this one. Whoops, I don't think that one's stuck. There we go. Stick your little glue dot on here. Just like that. Okay. So you've got your little witch's hat. I'll show you a couple of things we've done with the little witch's hat on the clip. I already showed you one of the little boxes. Here's another little fry box that was done with the clip on the top. And if you're like, don't want to put a bow on it or something, you can just put Happy Halloween, a star, and your boo on there like that. Here's one done with our little... Um, punch board bag cutter thing that you cut and I just folded the top over there and clipped it on there. Here's one with our uh, new box framelit. It's our little milk carton framelit. One just clipped on there. You can do it just on a little candy bar. It's a fun little easy little treat. And here's the little bags I did for Founder's Circle with the little clip to close it shut when you put your goodies in it. Okay, you can do it in the middle, you can do it on the side, you can fold it over and do whatever you like. Very simple and really fun and easy to do and everyone seems to love them. And so thanks. Here's another one done with a bag topper, just our cello bag with some treats in it, with our little witch's hat on the corner, and that one just has a little flower on it instead of the bow. And then I wanted to show you a couple things you could do if you wanted to turn it into a Santa hat. Here's a little um, photo block with a recipe on it with the little witch's hat in the corner here. I just did the same tree punch and this time used the window with the glitter paper and the little circle on top and it opens and closes just like the other ones. Just stuck it on a little recipe card holder thing. And then if you want a bigger one this little Santa hat is done with the triangle that's in the cutie pie framelits. And then our new washi tape punch is the bottom of it. And I just put it on the clothespin too with a little bell on the top. Just to kind of add some fun. A little candy. So there's a few more ideas.